Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mafia and Gangsters video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do another entry here. This one actually not based on a suggestion, but on an article. Something that I came across earlier today that featured a location infamous within the world of the Mafia. I actually never heard about this location before, and so when I was reading this information, I thought what a perfect way to showcase it here within this series. And it's a first. Rather than, let's say, talking about an actual mobster we're going to focus on a location that's tied to several if not many of infamous mafia so gangster activities particularly with this location being known as the graveyard an old mafia graveyard for many of their disposed bodies very interesting stuff when i was reading this information because so little is known about it not some people know about it about this location in fact that i would, again i thought it would be great to showcase it here but you're looking at a picture of it now. Colloquially, it's known as the hole and it's featured there within New York City. So let's go ahead and let's talk about all the interesting information associated with this location. And as a special bonus, it actually ties into Goodfellas. More on that here in just a moment. So what is this hole that's located there in New York City? For lack of a better term, it's pretty much an abandoned neighborhood that's found there between Brooklyn and Queens. In fact, you're looking at what is a rough estimate of the actual location there. You would have to go somewhere towards an area called 78th Street by Albert Lane. Then there's another area called South Conduit Avenue and Linden Boulevard. And then some of the surrounding neighborhoods include East New York, Lindenwood, Ozen Park. But yes, this is the spot where the hole is located. There's not an exact date that I could find as to when people first started moving there. But eventually people did. Like back and who knows how far back until up until today. People are still there to this very day. The reason why it's called the hole goes back to what I was just mentioning a minute ago go about it be considered a lost neighborhood it's essentially abandoned this is because this is a place that's ground level is lower than the rest of new york city in fact at its lowest point it's about 30 feet lower than the surrounding area this in turn causes it to be constantly flooded in fact people state that it's more of a permanent flooded status and this is so bad that there's no sewer system that's there either can you believe that no sewer system at all in new york city this is a neighborhood again about maybe five six blocks or so and it has no sewage so because of that there's residents that are there but it's very few and in between and then those that are there pretty much keep to themselves it, by, I guess, what I was looking up the information on, they may be living there, they may not. They may just be transitory or they may be living there in the sense that they're just squatting at that location because as far as I could tell, there's no exact addresses there. And if there are, there's a few homes, spotted homes here or there. I have no idea how they're able to get by there with no sewage and no water. They definitely seem to have electricity, but at least with regards to basic water components, none at all. And so that's why it still remains somewhat abandoned to this day, because even in the midst of one of the busiest towns and locations um, in all of New York City, and in this case, a part of the United States as well, here you have something like this that is virtually empty. Well, as it turns out, that's a perfect spot for the mafia to basically take care of a lot of situations, to be a solution to a lot of their problems. So uh, earlier, who knows back, you know, maybe going to the 50s or 60s, well, at least into the 1980s, based on documented findings. But yes, somewhere during that time period, that's where the mafia realized this vacant lot, specifically over by 78th Street in between Blake and Dumont Avenues. Some of these names I'm mentioning too, by the way, if you live in New York City and know exactly what I'm talking about, then you'll know uh, the exact area. And I would love to hear what your thoughts are with that area too. But yes, somewhere along the way, the mafia figured out these type of vacant lots that people aren't living at and those that are, that are more transitory are just going to pretty much stay quiet they realize this is a perfect spot to take bodies 
they would become the graveyard for many of the people that they ended up whacking along the line. And in fact, over the years, and maybe even to this very day, just because of the fact that there's so many um, unknown places where bodies were buried, that's where crime families would bury people. In fact, in 1981, some children playing there in one of those lots found the body of a capo by the name of Alphonse Al and Delicato. And then he, in turn, was missing several weeks before um, during a time period involving a nightclub store. Apparently, he had been killed or presumed killed, and then it was unknown what happened, but now his body was found. And then that's where it shows proof as to it being graveyard. Further proof is the fact that in 2004, more bodies were found, including two guys by the name of Gianconi and Trinchera were found there as well. And then this was an area that John Gotti either frequented or had grown up one in and knew about its remoteness, isolationist, um, isolated stance, especially being there in the middle of New York City, close by to many of the crimes that the mafioso gangsters did, but being conveniently so isolated for them to dump their bodies, that's where they placed them there. And it makes it almost perfect to do so because the idea that these bodies could be done buried there in the middle of the night, nobody would be able to go by. In fact, I was reading some articles on it as well just to see about current experiences that people have had because there have been people, especially now in the world of YouTube and online articles, just like the one I was reading earlier, they go there to this day. They frequent it, like they go by, trying to see what they could get in terms of photographs and video footage, and even they stay to this day, that there was hardly anyone during the day traveling by. This is New York City again. I can't stress that enough. There's millions of people. There's so much traffic, wall-to-wall -wall people in traffic. And yet here in this area, because it's literally abandoned, there's hardly anybody there. So imagine that in 1980s, 70s, 60s, and so on. Perfect ground for the uh, mafioso gangsters to go there in the dead of night and then just pretty much take care of their problems, especially with the bodies that they had found that they've taken care of, like cut up and put who knows where in several spots, and nobody would know the wiser. And then there was presumably other bodies that are buried there that to this day still haven't had any proof as to their location. But again, considering the, uh, the, the, the haunted past associated with this graveyard, people still think about it. One is a guy by the name of John Favara. I might feature him on a future Mysteries and Disappearances. He was the guy that went missing because he ran over the 12-year-old son of John Gotti. And when, when that happens, you, and you run over one of the most powerful um, mafioso gangsters in the U.S., at least at the time, when you run over their son, you better believe something's going to happen, and you know the mafioso guys aren't just going to stand by. So he went missing, and it's presumed that his body is buried there. And then tying into what I was mentioning earlier about Goodfellas, how about this? Thomas De Simone, Tommy Tugan De Simone, his body is rumored to be buried there as well. And then also Marty Krugman is also believed to be buried there as well. It's difficult, though, to tell if there's ever going to be any proof on any of this. Because even throughout time, as far as this location being abandoned, there's still spots that you can see some improvements. In fact, I was reading some articles stating that roads have been developed, areas had been um, patched over. And so if a body is buried there, especially one from uh, you know, a victim of the mafia, some of the, uh, some of the names that I was just mentioning earlier, they would be there at that spot, paved over now with concrete, and nobody would ever suspect anything else for who knows how many years going forward. So Thomas DeSimone's and others and their bodies that are presumably buried there, it may take forever to be able to find out where exactly that happened. And that's even if their bodies are truly, truly there. Also, one little thing to note uh, as a little bonus when it comes to this um, almost featured on the ghosts and spirit side of my videos, this place is also heavily rumored to be haunted because of so many of the bodies that were buried there by the mafia. In fact, they could be up to 200 plus as far as the bodies that are buried there. There's hauntings. People that live there, this, the few transformers I was mentioning earlier, even in 
owner that I was reading an article on, he states he's not going there at night, obviously for like safety reasons, because of the area surrounding it. It's very much abandoned. There's lots of crime. I was reading articles that were stating that as well. But he also says that he gets creeped out. Like there's something about that place, especially at the dead of night that says that there's ghosts there and it could tie into some of the bodies that were again buried there by the mafia that was their final resting place they're restless because of it and so they may be haunting that location but yes that's pretty much it that's everything i wanted to mention associated with this area the hole located there in new york city what about those of you that have a more local uh, experience maybe those of you that have visited even this location or know about it from wherever you were living at in new york city let me know post in those comments below plus this is an area that may soon or rather than later i guess may have a change in the future apparently a lot of the surrounding area is going through a gentrification and this may be a location that one day has that stance where it's infamously bought out paved over new things put in shopping malls and so on could be gone sometime in the future but for right now at least there it's still currently abandoned so all right everybody thanks again as always take care